everybody and welcome to Author Rack. I'm Sal. I'm Ben. And I'm the ruler of the galaxy. That's right. Find out where we got these handy trinkets at the end of the episode for a special edition of Junk Drawer. Today on Off the Rack, we're going to be reviewing Steve Rogers' Captain America number one, written by Nick Spencer, with art by Jesus Saiz. Uh, this is a very controversial episode. It came out last week. Uh, lots of spoilers out there. Don't be surprised if they're in this episode. We're just going to spoil it. So if you haven't read it already, go pick it up. It's going to be fine. And I guess that's the review that I have for this book. It's... <laughs> Fine! Reminds me of the old Captain America books that I used to read back in like the 80s and 90s, where Captain America did something and then won. The end. This time, though, it had a twist at the end. Oh, a twist! What'd you guys think? Uh, aside from the fact that it didn't leave much of an impact, it was a lot of fun. I liked the characters in it. I especially liked the team up of. Oh, uh, uh, Union Jack. No, not Jack Union Flag. Jack. Jack Flag and uh, Stars Free Spirit. Free Spirit. Free Spirit. Those that are 90s it. characters that were created to like make Captain America more relevant, and they brought them back for this issue. For that, I'm like, wow! Way to dig deep. Nick Spencer does that, though. I, I Spirit Post Spider Man pulls out the uh, the obscure villains, and he's like, look at these, look at these jackasses. Like, that's fair. Yeah. This, there was, this is, this is a lot of reading. And yes. I, and I don't mean that, like, in a, we shouldn't have a lot of, like, story, but this was a lot, a of, lot of reading. Yeah. And a yeah. lot of setup. Yes. A lot of setup. A lot, a lot of, of setup. Yeah. yeah. A lot of, like, narration, a lot of memories. A lot, a lot of conversations. Of, yeah, 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 exactly. Just like, it was, it was a lot of setup to get to the last page. Yes. Uh, what'd you guys think of the writing? I mean, there was a lot of it, but was it was it competent? Didn't Spencer do a nice job? Yeah, I think it was competently done. You actually took the word out of my mouth. I was going to say it's competent. competent. It's not fantastic, right? but it's well done. I yeah. think he did better in some areas. I think the areas that he cared about the most were a lot of the setup stuff, but like when they were talking about the current story that they were involved in, yes. it was kind of like he, just, he was just... He didn't didn't care. You know what I mean? Like, there was a lot of words, but like he clearly just felt like... It was it, a cut to the chase. Yeah! Yeah, but like those flashbacks... Yeah, he though, really I liked those flashbacks. I thought those were awesome. Like, I yeah. thought that was really well written, mm -hmm. but like, there was just some times where I was like, I mean, like, okay, the Red Skull stuff, he had a lot of... A lot of... A lot of dialogue. A lot, lot of, of dialogue for the like, same shit I've heard Red Skull say a thousand yeah, times. Yeah, but at the same time, I felt like he really cared about that. Yes. But, like, some of the other stuff, less so. Yeah. I thought, actually, the conversation that Cap was having with uh, Carter Sharon, was really good. yeah. Yeah. Sharon Carter? Sharon. Yeah, because it's Peggy one? Carter. Sharon. No. I, I'm sorry. The one the where he one. was on the helicarrier, they were on the port swing. Oh, yeah. I thought that was okay. That was nice. That was a cute moment, but, like... I thought that was a cute moment, but that was the weird thing, is that... I thought they were just out somewhere, and then I realized... And then it's Helicarrier. They're, they're you know on what? the edge they want of the you to make, They want you to make you, yeah. They, and you I know laughed. What? I that was cool. Knew what the, I already knew what the reveal was going to be at the end, yes. so reading it through this time, or reading it through for the first time, I guess, leading to that, I was like, that's really forced. Yes. But I think if you don't know what's going to happen at the end, yeah. you have a different reaction to that. But well, because like, the book just... ends twice. The book has like an ending, yeah. and then it has like that extra like little action at the end. Yeah. And then you're like, and with the big reveal, which is Cap is an agent of Hydra. Oh, let's get to uh, Jesus Saiz's art. That was fine. I, I thought it was well done. I think it was better in some places. I feel like the stuff in the past was really strong. Mm -hmm. I had one critique of the book. Oh. And I am really surprised that back in the 1920s or whenever the hell this was when the, the past scenes were yeah, taking place. Yeah, it was like the place, teens. It was probably the... Yeah. That this woman is just like, oh, by the way, if you want, we have a club that you can join. And it's the Hydra logo? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but if you handed me a sheet of paper after, like, you took me out to dinner and been mm -hmm. like, you know, we have a group that's going on and it's like a picture of the devil <laughs> or like a skull. I'm gonna be like with claws. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna pass. Okay, yeah. whoa, whoa, hang on. They did rescue them from. I was gonna say if it were Ben and it was a picture of a skull, I think Ben would be like rocking. Yeah, all right. Yeah, me. Either. I think time travels. Involved. Yeah, it's time travel. That woman's not from that time. That nope. woman's from. She's from the present. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the controversy because everybody's like freaking out, like in a big bad way, about Captain America being an agent of Hydra. Hail Hydra! It's Cap. Oh no! Fucking yeah. You know, Cap was a werewolf once. You know, Dr. Octopus took over Peter Parker's body and was the superior Spider-Man. I like that you mentioned the werewolf thing, because they mentioned that too. They did, yeah. Like, well, because well, like... Nick Spencer's like, it's clearly a story. We're not going like, we're not retconning it so it's like, oh, no, 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 no. Cap is evil now. Cap was always evil. Like, no. No, I'm, I'm, I feel like someone from Hydra or something else well, went no. back in time. Yeah. 
Well, they, they, uh, well, like, it's probably connected with him being re youngened by the Cosmic Cube <laughs> girl, which they referenced from Avengers Standoff yeah. in this very issue. Who then just pissed off. Yeah. Bye, I'm a boring character and have nothing to offer. I, I did my job. I made you have a character back that you wanted. Yeah. Here, Steve Young. Bye. I mean... She's just missing. She'll come back. Yeah. She's probably in this story. Aside from Captain America number one, there's some books coming out this week on my birthday of all times. It times. is! That's June right. 1st. If you're watching this on May 31st, tomorrow is Sal's birthday. That's right. So, so June, June 1st. So if yeah. you're watching it later on, you missed it. Um, but but, but you can always send him a tweet. Yeah. Yeah. If you want. You don't uh, have to, but we'd like, I'd like you to. Yeah. But for my birthday, some great books are coming out. That's right, what are you excited and, uh, about? And we're looking forward to talking about them, recommending them to you. So, yeah. Ben, what's coming out on my birthday that we can recommend? So, uh, of course, I love Green Lantern, and Green Lantern number one, Rebirth, is coming out. That's right. Written by uh, Jeff Johns, Sam Humphreys, art by Ethan Van Skyver. So, I'm on board for this, because not only are, is, is it a new Green Lantern story, you're getting new Green Lanterns in the story that it's going to be about. Yeah. It's not just about, you know, the Hal Jordan and everybody else that you've normally gotten about. No, Hal's getting his own book with other Green Lanterns. Yeah. This is Jesse Cruz and Simon Baz, and they're going to team up. And Blackjack and Hookers. Yeah. Oh, no, none of that. But without Simon Baz and, and What's-Her-Face. <laughs> Jesse <laughs> Cruz, yeah. Yeah, just, just Blackjack and Hookers. Yeah. <laughs> That's what this Green Lanterns book about. I'm on board. Yes. Yeah. Hal... <laughs> Uh, I'm looking for there's a plethora of books that are coming out. Civil War Two is launched, so oh, yeah. who knows if that's going to be any good? It's by Bendis and uh, David Marquez. It looks great, and the Zero issue is kind of fun. We're going to review it on Off the Rack, but we got sidetracked. Uh, that's coming out. But the more important one is Batman Rebirth Number One, which is co-written by Scott Snyder and Tom King. Uh, it's kind of like a like a passing of the guard. Tom, Scott Snyder's going to see Tom off, despite the fact that I I was like, why? Like, Tom King clearly can do it, and he will be doing it, but it's kind of fun to see the two of them work together. That's cute. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I have no idea. I think Calendar Man is involved. Uh, it's mm. also going to be drawn, by the way, by uh, Mikkel Janin, whose art I am not familiar with, but I'm looking forward to getting to know. That's uh, cool. Because I will be reading the crap out of the Rebirth Batman oh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, those are the books that are coming out that I'm looking forward to the most, at least, uh, are those. Tiffany, what's, cool. what's happening? Um, I also have a rebirth title that's coming out. Um, Green Arrow. Yes. Ooh. Um, we're gonna be seeing not only him, you know, in his own title, but he's gonna be there with Black Canary, yeah. which is awesome. Right. And the goatee's back. That's right. So I'm on board because I like Green Arrow with his goatee. <laughs> and then I have one more book. Oh. Um, it's an indie title. Um, I've probably, I think I've mentioned it. Um, every chance I get. Yes. Only, only, only every chance. Right. Um, but it's back from its like little break. Um, Paper Girls number six is coming out, written by uh, Brian K. Vaughan, yep. with art by uh, Matt Chung. Ooh. If I said that right, I don't know. So, same team, back together. Great. They're back. It's awesome. Um, God, I can't wait to pick this up. The cliffhanger they left off on last time. Nuts. Ah. He loves that. Yeah. He loves, yeah, he loves leaving that. you. Yeah. And Which is perfect, though, because Saga recently, you know, has come to its, you know, season conclusion. Yeah. And now Paper Girls is picking back up. So yeah. I'm like, hooray! Hey, don't stop working, Brian K. Vaughan. Yeah. So there you have it, everybody. Off the rack. We've reviewed the books. We've recommended a few. And if you stick around for the end of the episode, you get a little added treat of Junk Drawer, our uh, unboxing and collectibles episodes show. And so check it, check it out. It's right at the end of this episode. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next week with an all-new episode of Off the Rack. I am Sal. I'm Ben. Time Jam! Oh. <laughs> and don't forget, now it's Team Cap. No. Nope. Nope. I'm going to let you uh, take that one. That's all for you. Hail Hydra. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out to the end of the video. Now you get to watch us open up our loot crate on Junk Drawer. This is May's loot crate. If you want to get your own loot crate, you can go to lootcrate.com <laughs> slash comic pop and you can put in a promo code, uh, promo code TV Little House and get 10% off. Yep. I got it. <laughs> I didn't sound very sure of myself. Wow! I just opened it and look, this week, this, this week's, this month's maze was power. What? I cannot wait to bake. I gotta tell you guys. Oh shit. Check this out. Bam! The Infinity Oven Mitt. That's right, the Infinity Oven Mitt. When you're baking muffins, cakes, whatever it is. You want to put the power of the universe in your goods. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Or you just don't want to burn your hand. Yeah. This is the way to go. Here we go. All right, we also got ourselves a Dragon Ball. 
keychain. Oh, it's a little plushy keychain. Got the dragon itself. Oh, that's kind of fun. The fourth dragon ball on there. Dragon ball. Balls. Balls. <laughs> we got a Q fig. It's the Hulk. It's actually really cool. Yeah, it's from QMX. He's the same guys who did the uh, Deadpool little statuette that they came with a loot crate a couple months back. Yeah. This one's got the Hulk. It's pretty sweet. I'm going to try and wrestle it QMX makes really, really great stuff. You go to QMXonline.com. You can see awesome. more cool uh, commercial properties. This one's great. It's going up on the shelf. He really looks fantastic. This is so cool. Yeah, this I is love it. Well. I love QMX. Uh, Boom. We got ourselves a shirt. Oh. Oh, snap. What is it? Ah. Cool. Unless I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm not. No. That's oh, no. That's definitely wrong. an orc. Yeah, that's an orc. That's a human. We got Warcraft the movie coming out. Regardless of who is excited about it or not, I'm still going to go see it because I think it's... I, I just want to see it. Yeah. I just, just want to go to, It's going to be pretty. I just want to go to Azeroth, man, okay? We are What's literally going to go that? to that. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing, I guess. <laughs> that shirt's awesome. You, you want to go to the Outland? Did you get that shirt? Get shirt Monsters. Um, our pin this month is... I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it's, I'm sure it's cool. Can we know what it is? Yeah, got to figure it out. There we go! And a little magazine. And the little magazine, of course. Very cool. You got the specialty box on the inside. You can find out all about the other Loot Crate products because they have more specialized boxes. So if there's something you're more interested in, whether it be video games, something for your pet, it doesn't matter. They're actually a really cool Warcraft. Um, it's a Battleborn pin. Battleborn! Battleborn pin. I was going to say it's a robot. It's totally a <laughs> robot. It's a robot. Um, great Warcraft article in here. I'm going to read that. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know we did it pretty fast, but I think that's the way to do it. We just, we just tore through this. That's right. Like, the way the Hulk would. That's right. That's right. I smashed on through it. That's right. Smashed on through to the other side. I love this. Yeah. Smash yeah. on through to the other side. Oh, we don't know that, no. No, no, just, just, just. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for checking out the rest of the episode. <laughs> I have no mouth. Yeah. And we'll that's, see you guys next week, right? That's right. Tuesdays. That's right. Don't forget, if you want to get your own, go to lucrate.com slash comic pop. Put in the promo code TV Little has to get 10% off. It's pretty sweet. You'll probably see some of these things in possibly the episode you just watched. Who knows? Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.